Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 9.18. So the statement is given that for the beam and loading shown, you can see the beam and loading given. So you have to determine a the equation of elastic curve equation of elastic curve for the beam and B part is deflection at free end which is free end is this so this is deflection at free end which is YB so this is a cantilever beam and the loading is given over here which is equal to W and that W is equal to W naught into 1 minus 4 into x by l plus 3 into x by l whole square clear so we will solve this equation so we will also write the boundary condition for that we know that this is at here at x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 this is a first boundary condition and again uh, at this point at this fixed end at x is equal to 0 we have uh, slope which is dy by dx is again 0 clear and at this free end which means that x is equal to l we have shear force is equal to 0 because you can see there is no shear force and similarly at x is equal to l we have moment is equal to 0 because at free end moment is equal to 0 so we will move toward our solution and we know that the given load W is equal to W naught into 1 minus 4 into X by L plus 3 into X by L whole square. Clear? And we also know that DV by DX is equal to minus W which is equal to minus w naught into 1 minus 4 into x by l plus 3 into x by l whole square clear so when you integrate this this equation so we will get the shear force and this shear force will be equal to w naught into here this is constant so it will be x and this will be minus 4x square over 2l which is equal to 2x square over l again 4x square over 2l and it will be 2 will cancel with the 4 and we will have minus 2x square over l plus we will have 3 x cube over l square divided by 3 so we will have x cube over l square plus there will be a constant which is cv let this constant is cv clear so this is unknown we can find this constant by using uh, this boundary condition that is given over here that at x is equal to l we have v is equal to 0 shear force is equal to 0 so when you put x is equal to l and v is equal to 0 so you can see this will be l this will be let me put it so 0 will become equal to minus w naught into l minus this will be l square divided by l which is 2l and this will be l clear plus cv so 2l minus 2l plus 2l it will cancel so this term will be equal to 0 and we have cv is equal to 0 it means that shear force is equal to minus w naught into x minus 2x square over l plus x cube over l square so this is the shear force now we know that this shear force is equal to dm over dx and this dm over dx is equal to this shear force and this shear force is again equal to 
minus w naught into x minus 2x square over l plus x cube over l square so you if you integrate this dm over dx is equal to this term on both sides so you will get the moment equation will be like this and this will be equal to minus w naught it will be equal to x square over 2 it will be minus 2x cube over 3l plus this will be x4 over 4l square plus constant of integration let this is cm clear this is cm so this is unknown we can find it by using this uh, uh, only condition that at x is equal to l moment is equal to 0 so when you put x is equal to l you will have moment is equal to 0 so it will be minus uh, w naught into this will be l square over 2 this will be minus 2 l cube over 3 again it will be 2 l square over 3 plus this will be l4 over 4 l square which is equal to l square over 4 plus cm so when you solve this this cm will become equal to 1 over 12 w naught into l square clear so when you put the value of cm in this equation this let's say this equation is a so when you put it so you will get m is equal to minus w naught into 1 over 2 x square minus 2 over 3 x cube over l plus x4 over 4l square minus 1 over 12 l square because w naught is taken as constant from this term as well clear so this is the moment equation and we will use this we will put this equation as we know that e i uh, e i into d square y or dx square is equal to this moment and this is equal to this so if you integrate it once you will get e i into dy by dx it will be equal to minus w naught it will be x cube over 6 minus it will be 2x4 over 12 which is 1 over 6 x4 over l plus this will be x5 over 20 l square minus 1 over 12 l square into x plus c1 where is c1 is constant of integration again if you take the integral of this equation clear so you will have e i into y is equal to minus w naught it will be equal to x4 over 24 and this will be equal to x5 over 30 l this will be x6 over 120 l square minus 1 over 24 l square x square plus c1 x plus c2 now you have again these boundary condition which is left we will use this boundary condition in order to find the c1 and c2 so at x is equal to 0 we have dy by dx is equal to 0 so put it in 
this equation let this is equation number one and this is equation number two so let put it in equation one clear so when you put x is equal to zero divided by dx is equal to zero so this term will be equal to zero and all the x term will be equal to zero so it means c1 is equal to zero now we will put the second boundary condition that at x is equal to zero y is equal to zero so we will put it in equation 2 when you put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so you can see that c2 will be all, all will be also equal to 0 you can see y will be equal to 0 and all x term will be equal to 0 so c2 will be equal to 0 it means that we have the equation of elastic curve equation of elastic curve will be this we will, if you use this c1 is equal to 0 and c2 is equal to 0 so this will be and you, if you divide ei on both side so you will get this y which is equal to minus w naught over ei Clear? and again if you simplify it and take L square as common so you will get this equation L square into x 4 over 24 minus 1 over 30 L x 5 plus 1 over 20 x 6 minus 1 over 24 L4 x square clear so this is the required equation of elastic curve again if you are uh, if you feel complexity see, complexity in taking L square in, denom, uh, in, numer, in uh, denominator as common so you can leave it over here EI y is equal to this term and divide EI on both sides so you will have y is equal to y is equal to minus w naught over ei and this term so it will be also okay clear so this is equation of elastic curve the second part is that deflection at free end so which is y c sorry y b y b because the other end of the beam is b so y b you will have to find y b which is at x is equal to l so again if you put x is equal to l in this equation so you will have deflection which is equal to yb and that will be equal to minus w naught over ei l square and this will be equal to this will be l so it will be l6 l6 over 24 again this will be l6 over 30 and this will be plus 1 over 20 l6 minus 1 over 24 l6 clear and this upon further simplification will be equal to minus w naught l4 over 40 ei clear so yb deflection at point b is equal to w naught l4 over 40 ei and since there is a negative sign so if you remove negative sign so it means that deflection is downward so this was a very interesting problem and i hope that it is easy for you to solve it yourself thank you for watching and uh, supporting me